Hi, welcome back to Fast Cabling. In our last episode, we walked through setting up an outdoor pole civilian system using fiber optic cable to overcome the challenges of long distance transmission. And today, we are taking it a step further by expanding an existing network outdoors with the addition of wireless bridges. We'll plan our network topology and ensure stable connectivity in a challenging environment. So let's get into it. So previously, we tackled installing a robust civilian system, ideal for their durability and high-speed data transmission capability. But today, the challenge is to provide Wi-Fi coverage at a remote location where running additional cable is impossible due to the physical and cost constraint. So this is where our wireless bridges come into play. Now, if you're considering expanding or upgrading your network, but aren't sure how to tackle the technical problems, we're here to help with a free tag design consultation. Whether it's setting up wireless bridges, enhancing your outdoor surveillance, or ensuring reliable Wi-Fi coverage across vast areas, our team of tech experts is ready to guide you through the process, offering customized solutions that tailor to your specific needs. So let's get into what a wireless bridge is. A wireless bridge connects disparate parts of a network by creating a point-to-point -point link between network nodes. And this is especially useful in outdoor setting where laying cables is impractical. And these devices can transmit data over a long distances up to three kilometers, bypassing physical obstruction and minimizing the need for extensive groundwork. So our wireless bridges here has waterproof and weatherproof design, certified IP65 protection, so it can provide stable wireless connection even under outdoor or industrial harsh environment. It also offers plug and play connection, so you can match the wavelength of each bridge easily by only pressing a single button without complicated configuration on the web. Besides, there's a signal strength indication, so it helps you know the real status of the Wi-Fi signal for effective installation. So when planning your network topology, it is critical to choose the right spot for installing your wireless access point and wireless bridges. Now, high location, free from physical obstruction, offer the best signal range and quality. And you should conduct a thorough site survey to understand the physical and radio frequency environment. This helps in identifying potential obstacles that could interfere with the wireless signal, such such as buildings, trees, or other structures. And achieving a clear line of sight between bridges is important. The fewer obstruction in the path of the signal, the better the performance and reliability of your wireless bridge. And by strategically placing the wireless bridge and wireless access point, you can ensure a seamless network flow, crucial for both the efficiency and reliability of the connection. So now you're looking at our completed setup using the wireless bridges. The router is connected directly to the bridge. And when you mount the bridge, make sure you mount it up high and with a clear line of sight. So we have another wireless bridge all the way across the room with our wireless access point. So the setup is completed. Let's check the speed by using our mobile device. I'm going to hit start. Whoops, there's a network error. So there must be something wrong with our setup. Let's check out. First, make sure everything is attached tightly. And this one here should be on the M mode. So here is right. And look at the back, we have the full signal bar. In the back, we have the wavelength channel number. We are on channel number three. So this side seems all right. Let's go over to the other side, where our other wireless bridge is. So coming here, again, we are going to check if everything is 
plugged in tightly and this time we are on the S mode this is our reset button we are going to use this to change the wavelength number looking at oh we are not getting the signal let's look at our signal bar and look at the back we are on channel number two that's why now I'm going to press the button that I show you and change it back to channel number three and make sure you face it directly to the other bridge as well now let's wait a minute to see if it will work here we go now we are getting the full signal so the connection should be working now and let's come over and check out our speed test again so now I use an Ethernet cable to connect the wireless bridge all the way to my computer as you can see they're connected then I'm going to perform a speed test so let's get started So first it's going to test the download speed. So we are getting it at 291.9 megabit per second. Next it is going to test the upload speed. Here we go, we have 285.4. So this is how our wireless bridge can perform. So there you have it, a stable and efficient Wi-Fi coverage across the remote location, all made possible by our network expansion using wireless bridges. Now this setup not only enhances surveillance, but also ensures that all areas of the property are well connected. So thank you for joining us. We've successfully tackled expanding an outdoor network by integrating the wireless bridges into our network. Work. Now, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech solutions. And don't forget to check out our next video where we will explore even more advanced networking solutions. So I'll see you in the next video.